Hey guys, welcome back to Bubbles Part 2. I'm going to uh, put paper towels on this side, the real thick ones here, and um, we're going to pour a bunch of rubbing alcohol on it and cover it with saran wrap, and we're going to see if this paint is going to come off or not. A little skeptical on this one. Definitely looks like spray paint or something like that. And I don't know if this alcohol is going to be powerful enough to get it off and we can reveal and save the original artwork or not. There's definitely going to have to be some touch-ups to the blue paint, but it'd be kind of cool if we could save it, but I'm just not sure yet. So first thing I'm doing is just rolling out some of these real thick uh, paper towels and we will get it saturated and covered up and it's going to set for about six hours probably and we'll see what it uh, reveals if it works or not it'd be pretty cool if it works i don't know some alcohol all over, all over it and then we'll cover it up with saran wrap. I don't know where I put the saran wrap, I just had it in my hand. Huh. Not sure where I put it. Let me go find that now. All right. We'll put quite a bit on here. I left the tea molding on the cabinet still so that the alcohol didn't ru run in between the layers of plywood. So I'm gonna go pretty generous with this. Try to really soak this down good. It's pretty hot out. I have the shop doors shut right now. It keeps raining, so. Figured it was a good day to start on this. See how it goes. Take my garbage out. And like I said, if this does not work, I have the bubble stencils from this old game. And I'm supposed to be getting my stencils today for uh, burger time. Now, burger time, I'm going to have no choice but to uh, repaint that because um, it, uh, the plywood is, uh, I think it's called a planking, they call it, where it starts uh, almost like splintering on the surface. Um, I did put a piece of plywood down here, so whatever runs on the floor will go on the plywood rather than all over the floor. Now I'm just going to take uh, saran wrap and get this thing covered up really good. It smells like a hospital in here when you do this. So that was almost two quarts of uh, alcohol.
Okay. Kind of tuck it around the edges a little bit here, best I can. Okay, now we'll let it set and see what happens. Alright, we'll be back later on to check on it. Okay, it's been about five hours and 10 minutes or so. Let's see if anything's happened here. Um, it looks still like it's wet, so that's a good thing. Um, let me get something to scrape that with and see if it's gonna come off or not. Okay, let's see if anything happens here. I see a bunch of cracking. It's, oh, sweet, it's gonna come off. This color blue looks like the same color as the Journey cabinet, so I'm probably going to have to paint the blue on this cabinet, and maybe I can use the leftover paint from the Journey cabinet. That would be really nice. The good thing is, is this is a real thin coat of paint, so it's literally taking all of it off, it looks like. Yeah, it's just cracking it all up. Look at how nice those look. I could easily tape those off and repaint the blue on this cabinet. That's awesome. Even the Williams logo's there, logo is there. Put this right onto this plywood down here. awesome hopefully the other side will look as good I'll do the other side probably tomorrow so basically what I'm gonna do is just just a quick video figured I'd show me doing this one side I'm not gonna do the other side on the video I mean it's the same exact process um, I'm definitely happy about this let's uh, take a little bit of rubbing alcohol put a little bit on the cabinet and uh, Let's wipe it down. But if you look here, you can kind of see all these marks in the blue paint from, I don't know, maybe when the black wrinkled, but that's fine. I'm not worried about it because all the bubbles look good. So if I have to tape these off and repaint the blue, that's what I'll do. I'll try to get this open with the gloves on, that's kind of hard. There we go. And these old rags, um, I'm gonna, I always put them outside at nighttime because I get a little worried leaving them uh, in a garbage can or on the floor because I don't know if they'll uh, 
if they could possibly catch on fire or not. I don't think alcohol will do that, but I'm not sure, and I'd rather not take the risk. So a little bit left on the bubbles. A little bit of black paint. wonder if I uh, should worry about taking a magic mark eraser or not, or just use my fingernail. I almost think a magic eraser is the better bet. Fingernail might be a little bit harsh. Let me go grab a magic eraser and I'll hit it lightly with that and we'll see what happens. So let me go grab one in the house real quick. But if you look at the bottom of this cabinet, it's pretty chewed up. So I'm going to have to do Bondo work down here. We got to make new wooden blocks and put new legs on the bottom. Uh, I want to sand all that and clean it up. So we're going to end up painting a lot of the blue. Uh, I'll probably just tape the bubbles off and shoot the blue on the whole side just so it looks brand new again. Other than the... Uh, not having to do the bubbles. So let me go grab a magic eraser and I'll be right back. Okay, I grab. These are actually, I think it's called melamine foam or something like that. They're not actual magic erasers, but this is exactly what a magic eraser is made out of. Now these deteriorate a lot quicker, but they're about 10 to 20 cents a piece versus a magic eraser at a dollar or two a piece. So if you go online, you'll find them and you could buy them by packs of like a hundred. If you want to save some money and use these. Yeah, I gotta be careful because it wants to take the blue off. if I just maybe uh, lightly put some on the spots, let it sit for a couple minutes and try it. We're just wiping it maybe. I don't want to ruin the artwork. I mean, it, uh, being a little weathered looking is fine. I'm all right with that. Just don't want to start like wiping it all away, you know? So let me uh, leave a little bit of this alcohol on here, maybe for about 10 minutes and we'll come back and try wiping it. And hopefully we don't disturb the paint on those bubbles. Been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the paper towels. I think the Bondo spreader might be the best bet. And I'm okay with a little wear on it. Like I said, I, I don't need it to be 100%. just want to get any rotten spots of the cabinet fixed and stuff. But as far as this artwork, I'm all right with a little bit of uh, original wear and tear on it. That's a big nick in the white. That'll probably just maybe brush touch that a little bit. If I even mess with it. We'll see. The Bondo spreader seems to be the best bet. It seems to do the least amount of damage. Not worried about the blue part, the black left on the blue. I'll just sand that off.
And I'm not gonna mess with it anymore tonight this side. I'm gonna let it dry because I don't wanna keep loosening up the paint. But I am very happy with these results. This is gonna be just a quick part two of the bubbles restore. Um, I'll get the other side done tomorrow night. And then uh, I'll do like a, maybe I'll do like a, a short video tomorrow night showing uh, the other side done. And uh, then uh, we'll do a part three and we will sand down the cabinet and start doing all the body work and fixing the leg levelers and stuff like that. Then we'll do the black paint. We'll repaint the black on the cabinet. Um, and uh, repaint the blue. Maybe do a couple white touch-ups. I'm not sure yet. And uh, we'll put a satin clear on it. And then it'll go in the basement. And then we are going to do Stargate next. Now, I have Stargate stencils, but I'm almost wondering now if maybe I should strip the Stargate and see what it looks like underneath. So maybe we will be doing that. I might have been just uh, have to sell these stencils that I bought because I don't need them. And uh, we'll go from there. So, all right, guys, just a quick uh, part two of the bubbles. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, please like, subscribe. Any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to ask. And I will see you guys tomorrow.